to limit search results and a literature review to those that are most relevant to what you are looking for, you need to focus your reviews. There will be broader ones that cover your research questions, but as you get into your research, you will have topical questions that will require you to do additional literature reviews. The topical questions may include experimentation methods or analytical methods. If we go back to our example from earlier, Sarah is doing her research on tensile mechanical performance of additively manufactured ABS plastic that has been irradiated by protons. During the literature review she conducted to develop her research questions, Sarah notices that researchers all seem to be using one of three different test specimen types. She also notices that they are from non-3D printed test standards and the researchers are not providing any explanations as to why they are choosing a particular test specimen. This seems odd to Sarah, so she decides for her research to investigate the use of these three test specimen geometries so she can make an informed decision about which one she is using. She asks the question, what test specimen geometry is correct for tensile testing 3D printed plastic? And she begins doing an associated literature review to evaluate this question further. This is a topical question resulting in a focused literature review. You should spend some time thinking about what your search criteria will be and what you will purposely exclude. The databases you will search in work off keyword searches and taking some time to think about the search words you will use will help you limit your search results and easily identify results that are not relevant. Going back to our example with Sarah, she is doing a topical literature review to determine the correct test specimen geometry for tensile testing 3D printed ABS. Some search criteria she may want to consider initially are the type of 3D printer she is using, fused filament fabrication or the trademark name fused deposition modeling. This ensures she excludes other types of 3D printers that have different features and won't be helpful to her research. She also wants to include the applicable ASTM standards for testing traditional plastic. These are the standards that specify the three different test specimen geometries, and she wants to see if her hypothesis that no rationale for their use in 3D printing mechanical testing has been published. She only wants to focus on tensile testing, so she will explicitly search for that and she wants to explicitly search for plastics. She doesn't want to include metals, composites, or ceramics because they have different behaviors and are printed on different 3D printers, so information about them won't be helpful to her question. Go to the next video for a brief tutorial on how to choose databases and conduct searches for your literature review.